assigning a breath controller to a synth mod in this video. So, uh, uh, yeah, let's look at that. We have the uh, different mods here. There are going to be more, but these are what we have today. So this is the synth mod. You have the different waveforms here that uh, I can use. And I have some different filtering options as well. You're gonna be, you're gonna hear how they sound. And we have this, this drop or this octave button right here. We have detune button that is assignable for different effects. The first thing we need to do is to look at the different modulation curves that appear as soon as you move one of the buttons. You have these options all the way down here. You have a lot of options. You see here there are some unassigned MIDI channels that will be assigned as soon as we connect uh, one of our controllers like my breath controller or a pedal or whatever. It appears here instantly as you will see. And we have these other uh, modulators as well that uh, we can assign by just clicking a button. And I can also use the stock reverb here. Okay, so this is one synth sound. It might not be super obvious how useful this uh, synth sound actually is, but it's gonna be, I guess, because we'll be applying some effects to it later and then you'll see that actually this little waveform covers quite a lot of ground but if we are to assign a modulator to something i would like to do it to the filter because that's usually what's done to get some to breed some life into actual note to have it open up on the transient when you pick the note so if I do like this, I have the options open here. And the only thing I need to do is to actually point at one of them and it's assigned to that one immediately. The thing I need to do then is to decide on the range in which it is supposed to work. And I want it to work in the full range of the filter here. So you see now uh, one of the big things with MIDI Guitar 3, I think, is the sustain, the artificial sustain that we have on the dynamics module here. This is a big step forward if you are to play synthetic instruments or like uh, wind instruments or anything like that even without the breath controller that I use all the time. So th what I like is uh, to uh, be able to con control the velocity from from the get-go so I can get different dynamics involved as well which I believe is the the more interesting part about the breath controller. So I will assign the breath controller now see here here are the options to more modules so if i go here on midi input which is uh, any sustain pedal or breath controller or any extra controller that you might have you can look in this little window and you see what what options you have right now and i only have the c board and my audio interface and not nothing else so here's my breath controller and we know it's a usb so i have the usb here 
I have my standard keyboard here with an extra USB port. So, okay, I might have to do like this then. Yeah, I have my breath controller here right now. So, and I go here over here. I look at these. My prediction is that if I blow in this one, you'll see uh, at least one of them changes to MIDI CC2. Yeah. And this is my breath controller. If I want this to work for the full range of the synth mod, which I want, then I do like this. So I have so it's grayed out the whole way. that easy actually I can do like this so you get to see now here's the interface and software for my breath controller as you see I have the breath here and if I go over to the byte you see that it is it is disabled uh, if I enable it by assigning a MIDI channel to it channel 1 Let's go over here and you see CC4 right away because I have CC4 here. If I were to change this to say CC6, yeah, as soon as I bite on it, you have CC6 here. So it's now uh, let's look at some effects on this one. So if I want to get rid of this breath controller assignment, I do like that. I just press the no mods button over here and then I can play freely. interesting part of this is the sense of dynamics that is way more tangible or playable for us uh, in this version as compared to the, the last wor version and that is to large degree depending on this artificial sustain because we can leave the weak notes running or ringing in the background 